Do 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 do. Hello, hi, James Ringvid. You might have noticed that my voice changed. I went from soft to loud. Now, <clears throat> many students I find have a problem when it comes to electronics. They don't know whether they should use or if they should use up, down. On or off. Today is a basic lesson on those things. So let's go to the board and take a look. Now, when we talk about electronics, which could be something as simple as your cell phone, okay, what happens is people want to use them, which is fine if you're doing it for yourself, but when you're talking to other people and you want them to do something for you, you notice that this cell phone is. Would you say down or off? All right? That's the lesson we're going to do today. What do you say when you want to change the condition of this cell phone? We'll start right now. E. So are we going to turn up the volume or turn on the volume? Well, I noticed doom, 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 doom. the music is already on. This is low volume and this is high volume. But how do we change them? Let's start with some basic definitions. First, turn. That was a turn. It's to move around the center. Here's a center. I turn around a center. Or to reverse a position. Interesting. Both of these definitions we need to understand if we say turn up or turn on. The first one, to turn around a center. We have to go back in time a little bit. Um, you're from the modern age, so when you press your toys, you just press. But when I was a little boy, a long time ago, when the Indians rode on the plains, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not that old, but I feel that way. Um, what happened was we used to have televisions and radios and we would turn. We would turn them if we wanted more volume. So if you look over here, where I said turn means to reverse a position, you have 360. So I feel like we're doing an old science lesson. And boys and girls, we will now demonstrate the turning mechanism. Here we go. We will turn up the power and turn down the power. Which means reverse. So we're going to look here and you notice I have to turn. Okay, this is a very old machine. Some of you won't recognize this. It's a film projector. <laughs> yeah, we don't use these now. Anyway. But the point was the technology, you had to actually do something with it. And that's where we get the ideas uh, for up, down, on and off. We're switching. We're either reversing the position or moving around a center. Now, when you have a lot of movement or 360, which is basically a circle, right? When you have a circle, this is why we talk about turning up and down. Because as you turn it, you can increase the power or decrease the power, or make the sound higher, or make the sound lower. In fact, in the old days, they used to do this for television, radios, and lights. You would turn up, and you would increase it, so it would get more. So here's the 360. Or you would go more, 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 more. Or you would turn it down and decrease it, and you would get less, 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 less. So the room could be darker if you're talking about light. If sound, all of a sudden the voice would get lower and lower and disappear. Okay, so that's why when we talk about volume on televisions or radios, we say, hey, could you turn up the volume? And if you think about this machine, okay, turn up the volume, turn down the volume. See, so it's turning. You don't use it now because we have new machines, but that was what the idea was for English. Now, turn up, turn down. You understand. We increase going one way, decrease the other, higher or lower. And you just think up is more, down is less. So what about the on-off thing? On-off. Well, think about it this way. On off for us is like yes or no. Do you want to use it? Yes, turn it on. Do you not want to use it? No, turn it off. And that's the light swish. When you want to have light, you psh, turn it on. Yes, light. When you don't want it, psh, 
turn it off. No. Another way of thinking of it is, if you like the Avengers or Hercules from when I was a little kid, I have the power! <laughs> Usually with electronics, it's about power. When you turn something on, you give it power or electricity, like your light bulb. And because of that, it goes on and starts to work. And it will continue to work until you take off the power. That's why we say turn on the power so it can continue going. There is no increase or decrease, it just works. Attaching, so we, we say we attach power. Attach means when you have something, you put it on something so it stays. Now, now it's attached to my hand, see? Now it's not attached. Well, here is a light bulb. It doesn't have power. So we attach the power and then whoo, we have light. No, no power or no electricity, no light. Light bulb is off. So that's what we talk about with the turn on and turn off. You want to think, am I attaching power? Yes, then you have light. Or not attaching power, no light. Off is separating or preventing. When we separate, we prevent the power to go to the light. Because we stop it, there is no light. So this is why we have on or off, sorry, on or off for power. And we say we're turning on the power and turning off the power. But if we want more light, we will turn it up and increase it. Or if we want less light, we will turn it down and decrease it. Now, I'm going to do a little quiz with you because this was an easy lesson, but an important one. So in the future, the full statement should be, if you want the lights on, could you turn on the light, please? If you want the light off, could you turn off the light? If you want more light, you should say, could you turn up the light and think of the light going up, 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 increasing. And if it's too much light, you know, could you turn the lights down, please? I just woke up. You'll get less, less light. Ready for the quiz? Let's go. Are we ready? I want to do a quick recap. A recap means to go over something again to help you remember. So let's go. So on or off, we're talking about power. Think yes or no. Do I want it on? Do I want it off? Yes or no. When we turn something, or sorry, up and down, it's comparative. Think higher or lower. So we turn on the power or turn off the power like the light. Turn on the light, turn off the light. Okay? When we go up or down, it's comparative. So something is changing in intensity or direction. So it's going higher volume or lower volume. Okay? So we're going comparatively higher or lower. Cool. Okay, so let's do some sentences. We have four here. Okay, first one. John asked if we had air conditioning because he was hot. I said I would turn it... Which one? Now, if John is hot and he's asking if we have air conditioning, probably he cannot hear it or see it. So I would probably have to turn it on because he was hot. If we had air conditioning working, the room would be cool and he wouldn't have to ask. So we add power to the air conditioning. Yes, we want power and yes, we want air conditioning. I just turned it on. <laughs> Next. Question. Let's go here. The radio was too loud in the car. Mr. E asked me to turn it off or down. Well, two, we talk about how intense or strong something is. And usually we say it's comparative. So higher or lower. Too salty, too much salt. Uh, too loud, too much sound. It doesn't mean we don't like the thing or if it's too little, we don't have enough. It doesn't mean we don't like it. It means there's more than we want. We want some, but less. So let's take a look. Comparative over here, we have for higher or lower. If the music is too high, we want it lower. That means we want to turn it down. So Mr. E asked me to turn it down, not off. He likes the music, just not so loud. He's got little worm ears. 
Number three, the room was dark because the lights were off. So Mr. E turned something, the lights. This one's a little easy. I want to help you because if the room were dark, there are no lights. What's the opposite of off? Let's take a look. Over here, the opposite of off is on. We need to add power to the lights. So when we add power and turn on the lights, we will be able to see. So Mr. E turned on the lights. And number four, what would that be? While your computer is turned something, go do the quiz at Ingvid. Huh? Well, I'll leave it for you to think about for a second. Your computer. Do you think you know the answer? Let's take a look. Can you see me? Yes. That means your computer must have power, correct? That means your computer must be on. If your computer is on, you can see me. And while you're doing that and it's on, I'm going to suggest that you go do the quiz at www.ing as in English, vid as in video. Okay? Well, you're probably already there, but if you're on YouTube, go there, do the quiz. See how well you understand the lesson. Okay? Anyway, I've got to go, but I look forward to seeing you soon. And as always, thank you for joining us, and don't forget to subscribe. Ciao.